as they come up on first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Vereen, toss play. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. On play action, it's Manning. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Now, this one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. And a great spot to start this drive from here. So after the INT, it's Breeze. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Thomas, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Here's Breeze to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Adrian Peterson from four yards out. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And yeah, the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. And New York set to take the field. Take off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Trey Hendrickson. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Now Manning throwing on second down. And this is caught. First catch by Brandon Marshall. They get 11 back on that one. It leads.
leads to third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And some extras coming up on the line here, Redding for the blitz. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And not much of an opening there, as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Manning to throw on second down. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sterling Moore. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They've got to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw, it's Breeze. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Breeze to throw on second down. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Kobe Flaner from eight yards out. And the Saints have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. Then they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And this is a spot late in the clock near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. And this should be a position now where the great ones, they relish this opportunity to put points on the board. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Breeze now on first down. He gets it to Thomas. <laughs> A big hit. 
Knocked down sideways. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. And Lutz puts this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good. But you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. One final try now for Manning. Going for the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. And they you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. And he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Throwing on first down is Manning. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be knocked down sideways. Call it no gain on the run there. And now they'll be looking at a third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Throwing is Manning on third down. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 20, 